And this might piss off the KD fans, whoever hear this on the playback, but I don't care. I'm being my honest to God truth about KD and his career ever since he left OKC. Ever since he left, Kevin Durant left OKC. I always looked at Kevin Durant with an evil eye, side eye. I just was never fond of him jumping ship because I watched that whole entire conference finals with uh, when he was all OKC playing Golden State. And I felt like he gave up because I think he wanted to go jump over and play with Golden State. And they tried to use, once again, back then, Westbrook as the reason why he jumped off OKC and with the, the Warriors. But I just never liked that move to the Warriors because the Warriors was already good enough. They were 73-9 team the year before that. People forget about that. But him just jumping into the best, well, the best team, the best record, it just unnerved me. It made basketball unwatchable during that time, if it ain't unwatchable now. And then he gets his wish. He gets two rings. And I think even I think he even said that winning two rings with a team that he wasn't drafted to what didn't feel as the same as winning a ring with the team he got drafted to. And then once he's he, I do say he probably did get ran out of town by Draymond Green, big ass mouth. So he jumps and joins Kyrie in Brooklyn, and they eventually get James Harden, Lamarcus Aldridge, uh, Blake, Blake Griffin. It's just like, why does he keep teaming up with these super teams? And then that falls apart. And now he's with the Phoenix Suns, and he still has an old-ass Chris Paul and a Devin Booker. How can I say this? There's something about Katie's career that just pisses me off about it. I'll get to you in a minute, Jay. There's something about his career that just pisses me off. It just feels like he can't win on his own. They put so much pressure on Giannis, blah, 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 doing all this, that, this, that. Eventually, he did win it on this, someone on his own. Chris Middleton. He played with Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday. Those aren't superstars. Those are all-star caliber type players right that i think that's why everybody just respects people like that and that's one of the reasons why i respect jordan because uh he played with pippen that was the only other all-star dennis robin was not an all-star caliber by the time he got to the bulls he did that with just them two and a bunch and some other more, more role players and they won KD has not did that yet. He has not led a team by himself. He's always been surrounded by good talent. He was surrounded by James Harden, Westbrook, Ibaka, uh, even Steven Adams. He had another all-star and some good role players. I wanted to see KD win it by himself, lead his own team, not jump to anybody else's team. That's my issue with him. That's always been my issue with him. But um, I don't know. That's just my opinion about KD. Still a good player. I don't have people might say I have smoke for KD. I don't have the same amount of smoke for KD as I do LeBron because KD don't move the way that LeBron moves. KD just wants to play basketball. On the other hand, LeBron just wants all the glory and people to worship him. And yes, KD did get everything he asked for in Brooklyn and still couldn't do anything with it. But then again, he also got stopped right in his tracks by the Greek god from Greece. But um, let me read this right quick. KD has no excuse not to win his championship in Phoenix. Unfortunately, he now has had more help than LeBron, so I hope he, he can get his crying ass Get crying ass Devin Booker a ring. Yeah. Now I got to think about it. Yeah, KD is, shoot, he's up there with LeBron when it comes to um, 
the amount of superstars he's played with, future Hall of Famers he's played with. That's why it's kind of hard to put these players over the players of the old. Now, people might say, oh, players of the old played play with those superstars, but they also have drafted to those teams, too, as well. They didn't try to go jump. Like, we always use the example, Bird or Jordan didn't try to jump on each other's team to go help each other win a ring. Nobody did that crazy, goofy, corny-ass stuff. They was competitors who wanted to beat each other. The only time they probably wanted to play with each other, that was the 92 Olympics. Outside of that, it was business as usual. Now it's just like basketball facts always says, AAU, NBA. But, yeah, KD better win this year or they're going to be looking at him even more. They're going to be disparaging him pretty much. <coughs> I hope they don't win. <coughs> yeah, they play Milwaukee in the finals, though. Now, they play Milwaukee in the finals. You know I want Milwaukee to win. But if Milwaukee don't get to the finals, of course. Why would I not cheer for my current home city's team? Why not? If it's against Boston. But I'll be a good sport about it if they do play Milwaukee and they end up beating Milwaukee. I'll be a good sport. I'll even join in in the celebrations around here. Maybe maybe not join in the celebrations. They're crazy out here. They probably burned down half the city because they haven't won anything since 2001, since the Arizona Diamondbacks won something. But that's if they play the Bucks in the finals. The Bucks win again this year and beat the Phoenix Suns. Uh, this time I will go crazy because I didn't go crazy last time. But anyways, let's move on. Let me get to some of these chats. Jay, I'll give you a prediction. Look, Choke is not going to make the playoffs. I'm going to get to that pretty soon. Uh, not to mention, can I read that already? Um, KD and LeBron are kings of stacking the deck and folding. Yep, they are, unfortunately. Uh, Dallas Mavericks, I think they can – Probably fit anywhere between four and five, finish between four and five, maybe even three. Um, 